Today, I'm going to show you how I can make thousands of dollars by sitting at my laptop. Don't believe me? Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about how many, how many Yeezys we're gonna get tomorrow. It's, we're gonna get so many pairs. Every moment in my life has led up to this very moment. It's the night before drop day. I'm setting up. See you tomorrow. It's gonna be a movie. We're gonna get a lot of pairs. We're gonna make a lot of money. Be there. What's up, you guys? It is 6.30 in the morning. Let's shut this off. It's 6.30 in the morning, but it's drop day. So let's go. These are the computer softwares that I use to assist me in acquiring as many pairs as possible. I was running Ganesh and Kodai. This is Kodai AIO. It absolutely dominates foot sites and finish line. The day started out a bit rocky, but as soon as I switched from residential to data center proxies, things took a turn for the better. For my viewers out there who have not a clue what a proxy even is, my next video is going to be about the very basics of body and reselling as a whole. Holy shit. Hey, here we go. Come on, give me some good size and stuff. Get these size nines out of here. And this is Ganesh Bot CLI. These are two of my favorite bots to run on foot sites, such as Foot Locker, East Bay, Foot Action, and Champ Sports. I just spent fifteen thousand dollars on sixty-eight pairs of Yeezys. Rough estimate, around a three thousand dollar payday. Talk about a good start to the day. I used to be a dishwasher. Do you have any idea how many dishes I'd have to wash to make $3,000? A lot. As you can see, my inbox was filled with order confirmations and shipping notifications. The next step was to figure out where all these pairs were going. So I made a list of every person I was getting a pair sent to. So the first pair of 350s finally came in. We're gonna give them a look and see what they're all about. Now, I've never really been a fan of 350s. Who knows, these could be different. I doubt it. Here's the box. Boost. This is a size 11. Two more things. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> Okay, dude, I think these are hideous. Yeah, I'll give you like a little pan out. I mean, I've heard 350s were very comfortable, but I don't know, they're just not my style. Uh, Kanye's gonna release some more 750s. I mean, I think I have a pair of them somewhere, I do. Now this is my kind of shoe. Like that's heat. You serious, dude? It looks like some sort of moon boot, right? Like what, what the f is this? What happened to the little strap on the back? That was the best pot. I don't know. Personally, the market is totally oversaturated with 350s, but if I can make money on them, I'm gonna buy them. I really need to hire somebody to open all these boxes for me. So Jesus just pulled up, giving the camera to my dad to record for us. This is the, you see me? Yeah. So you keep it like that. Huh? Okay. Open that door for me. What's good, homie? So that was my process to make three thousand dollars, and all the shoes are already sold. They're gone. We're we're on to the next release. Most people sat out this release. They thought, oh, these are gonna brick, but. If 40 to $50 a pair is a brick, give me all the bricks, I'll build the house out of the bricks and I'll live in it because that is money. If you get 40 to $50 per pair, you're getting 68 pairs. Dude, 
you cannot be sleeping on releases like that, especially a Yeezy 350. Most people who buy 350s don't even know what StockX is. They're gonna pay over what StockX is at. I sold, I did not sell one pair for under $265. So getting the shoes is hard enough, but after that, you gotta be even smarter with how you sell them. Time's more valuable than money almost at that point. I mean, I don't have all the time in the world and it takes a lot longer to sell singles than it does to just have somebody come by, buy 10 pairs, have another dude come by, buy 15, then 10 more and then 10 more and then like they're gone in two days. It literally took me two days to sell all these. It took me like two hours to get all of them and I made $3,000. Now back to my dishwasher days. I'd, I'd have to work for about 30 days to make $3,000. We're talking 10 hour shifts, scrubbing food off plates. Like who wants to do that? Not me. We'll see you guys next week. Peace out.